ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hey y'all, welcome to We Learn. This is the place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. Y'all, this is day 15. I'm super excited about this day, y'all. It's the end of the day. Hallelujah. We are moving right along in the things of God, consecrating, submitting ourselves. This is the submission fast phrase. God, 15 of 21 days. I'm just so excited. We are eating clean, 6 a.m., 6 p.m. We are praying, we are meditating, and we are drawing closer to the Lord in this time. And in this process, we're going to get to know clearly God's voice, right? Praise God. We're going to get to know how he talks to us in different ways. We're going to get to know what he has for us, praise God. We're going to see the signs, miracles, and wonders. Those who are serious about it. Now, those who are playing around with it, praise God, you might not see much. Hallelujah, but God is still good. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to share this with you today because the message is about knowing the time of visitation. Which visitation? The visitation between you and the Lord. The visitation, praise God, hallelujah, where the Lord is drawing you closer. He's drawing you near him, praise God, so he can increase you and elevate you in the spirit because God is spirit. Hallelujah. And I just pray for each and every one of you who are on this path of consecration, who really have your mind on God and not things around you, but really have your mind on God. Hallelujah. Because those who have their mind on God, you're not going to miss it. You're, gonna, you're not going to miss what God has for you. You're not going to second guess it. Hallelujah. You're not going to uh, take for granted what God gives you. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, I'm so grateful to the Lord that I have people, praise God, hallelujah, who pray for me. I'm so grateful to the Lord, hallelujah, that I have people that I can call on, hallelujah, who's going to sit down and talk Bible to me. I'm just so grateful. Let me tell you, because that's rare to find. A lot of people, hallelujah, they want to talk about, uh, you know, worldly things and all kinds of things. Praise God. It has nothing to do with God. Hallelujah. And, you know, that's just not me. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I always want to be in the business of God. I always want to be in the Bible of God. You know, I always, I always want to know, praise God, hallelujah, what is happening in the kingdom of God, in the spirit of God. What is on his mind, praise God, hallelujah. What is on God's heart, praise God, hallelujah. You know, I can have a lot of things on my heart, but it doesn't matter because I know that there is healing power in the love of Jesus. I know, hallelujah, yes, in love, in the love of Jesus, praise God. I know by his stripes, by his stripes, we are healed. But there's, there's healing power in the love of Jesus. When you feel the love of Jesus, praise God, hallelujah, everything else falls to the wayside. Hallelujah. Because God is so good to us and he wants us joyous, praise God. He wants us filled. He wants people around us who love us and care about us and uplift us and increase us, praise God, hallelujah. And he wants you around people, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah, in the same manner that it's reciprocal because the body of Christ is full of love. I'm so grateful that the Lord has called me to this platform, praise God, and I'm going to continue to do the work that he called me to do. Hallelujah. And it's going to grow and it's going to increase. Why? Because it's God. Hallelujah. Nobody's playing with this. Praise God. This is God. Hallelujah. It's his platform. It's his message. Praise God. And he's going to do whatever he want to do with his stuff. Let me say that again. He's going to do whatever he want to do with his stuff. He, he does whatever he want to do with me, praise God, because I belong to him. I yielded myself. I gave him my full self to the Lord, surrendered. Hallelujah. So he can do whatever he want to do with me, praise God. Hallelujah. But understand, understand, understand. As a child of God, I know my identity. As a child of God, hallelujah, I know my worth. Praise God. Hallelujah. As a child of God, I know who my father is. Don't play. Hallelujah. So understand, praise God, when you are a child of God, you got to know your identity. You got to know who your father is. Praise God. When you pray, you got to know it's done. Hallelujah. Anything come up against you? What? Hallelujah. I don't think so. In Jesus' mighty name, do you understand? Because I'm about the will of God. I'm about accomplishing his will. Praise God. And if anything, hallelujah, if anything rises up, praise God, all it's going to do is have me to consecrate more. Father, what do you want me to do? Father, what do you want me to say? Hallelujah. Father, where do you want me to go? Praise God. It's all, it's all it's gonna do is have me consecrate more, praise God. Hallelujah. Because he wants me at his feet. And that's what I'm telling you today. The Lord wants you at his feet, praise God. So when things rise up against you, all you need to do is just consecrate more. All you need to do is just yield more. All you need to do, God, what do you want me to do? God, where do you want me to go? God, what do you want me to say? In Jesus' name. Do you understand? Because you're reconciled back to the Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we're here to glorify Jesus all the days of our lives. And I pray that you receive that in Jesus' mighty name. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and look at this message, knowing the time of visitation. The Lord is showing me a clock 
and this clock is ticking. He already announced that time is short. The clock is ticking. Some people think they have so much time, praise God, hallelujah, that they can just do whatever they want to do, say whatever they want to say, feel however they want to feel, and respond however they want to respond. Some people feel like they don't have to be obedient to God. Well, God didn't tell me that, so I'm not going to do it, praise God, hallelujah. But if the God sent a prophet your way, hallelujah, understand this, praise God, and God told a prophet to tell you, hallelujah, it's going to resonate with you, praise God. This is going to be truth. It's going to hit, hallelujah, home for you in the mighty name of Jesus, and I'm just letting you know praise God because when he sends a prophet he's sending he's sending his word encased in a vessel let me say that again he's sending his word encased in a vessel praise God so when that word comes up out of the prophet hallelujah listen to what I'm saying when that word comes up hallelujah it's a word from the Lord and that word will have fruit let me say that again that word will have fruit the only way that word will not be produced is if the Lord tells that person it's time to repent, praise God, which means that the Lord is saying, hey, pray about this, repent about this, praise God, hallelujah, because he'll change directions on this thing. He'll change even his mind, just like Hezekiah, hallelujah, the king, praise God, when um, um, Isaiah went to him, hallelujah, and he said, hey, you know, it's time for you to uh, get, your, get your affairs in order, praise God, hallelujah, he turned to the wall and he cried, hallelujah, and then he brought it back to God's remembrance of how faithful of a servant he has been, praise God, and what did the Lord do? The Lord told him, praise God, hallelujah, in three days, go to the temple, and then he told him all the things he was going to do, praise God, to restore it, some years to him, understand, hallelujah, or give some years to him in the mighty name of Jesus, and he extended his life, and then he said that he would give a, a, a hand of Syria over to him, praise God. You know, I mean, it was all kinds of things happening within this time frame. Why? Let me tell y'all something. God was getting ready to take Hezekiah. He said, get your affairs in order. But it shows how good God is for Hezekiah to be able to pray and remind God, because he said, bring it back to his remembrance of what he had done as a faithful servant, hallelujah, with his whole heart and for God to then give him 15 years of living time, praise God. But in that 15 years of expansion of time, that's 15 year of time. The Assyrian um, army, they were going to be taken over anyway, right? Just by another one, hallelujah, hallelujah. But because Hezekiah prayed and he would still be living during this time frame of all of these other events that were supposed to happen, praise God, hallelujah, this is what he did. He just gave them over into his hand. Now, I'm going to tell you this, praise God. Some people are relinquishing their seat in the Lord. Some people are relinquishing their seat in the Lord. I probably need to come back for another video because we're consecrating right now, praise God. So I'll do that, y'all. Hallelujah, because the Lord is speaking in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm going to come back with another video to let you know what the prophetic message is. Praise God of relinquishing seats. Hallelujah. People are doing it left and right and they don't even realize it in the mighty name of Jesus. But I'm going to bring that word. Praise God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's go ahead and move to communion, y'all. Hallelujah. I don't want to keep you um, in your time and praise God. God is good. We are in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, um, starting at verse 23. I have my cracker here, y'all. Praise God. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread and we're taking bread. And Lord God, we thank you for it in the mighty name of Jesus. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body which is for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in so doing, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. 
For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgments himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick and a number sleep in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, O Lord God, for communion. We thank you for bringing us together today, Lord God. We thank you for your fire. Hallelujah. Your spirit, O Lord. We thank you, hallelujah, for examining us, Lord God, and having us to examine ourselves. We thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for preparing us for the visitation, O Lord God. Letting us know, hallelujah, many of us are being visited by the Lord. Many of us are being visited by angels. Hallelujah. And may we have eyes to see, Lord God, the encounters. May we have ears to hear, O Lord God. May we engage, O Father God. Hallelujah. May we do your will. Hallelujah. May we not miss it, O Father God, for you are so good in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you, O Jesus. Hallelujah. We love you, O Lord, King of Kings. Glory, glory, glory. We love you. Holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. We love you. Praise God. Hallelujah. We give you the highest praise, Jesus. We give you the honor and the glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, for every single day that we awake. We thank you, Jesus, for giving our steps to us, O Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For sharing in detail what we're supposed to do. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For being glorious in our presence. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. For the family and the destiny helpers, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. For what you have given unto us, the institutions, oh Father God. Thank you for the systems you have placed. Hallelujah. Oh Lord God. Hallelujah. For we are not of this world, oh Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we thank you for the citizenship of heaven. Hallelujah. We thank you for access to heaven. We thank you for the, your glorious nature, oh Father God. We thank you for your splendor, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Your splendor, your splendor, your splendor, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is speaking to us today. He is glorious, he is mighty, and he is the one who is prosperous, praise God. Lean on him in all understanding, praise God, and not your own. And watch what God will do for you, praise God. Watch the extent of what God will do, hallelujah. Some people think they cannot think God, hallelujah. I don't try, praise God. I just go with him. Some people think, praise God, hallelujah, they can outthink you, praise God, hallelujah. As long as you're with the Lord, don't even try, praise God, just go with the Lord, hallelujah. And you will see, praise God, you will see the rise of his people, hallelujah. You will see the increase of his people, hallelujah. Because one thing about God, one thing about God, he does not play, praise God, hallelujah. And he will showcase himself where he is. Wherever the Lord dwells, he will showcase himself, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's just the truth in Jesus' mighty name. Receive the Lord. Receive uh, what the Lord has bestowed upon you in Jesus' mighty name. And I will see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. for day 16, y'all. I'm super excited. Let's submit, 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 consecrate, meditate, pray, praise God. Hallelujah. And just be in the presence of the Lord as much as possible as we are fasting, y'all. Eat clean. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you know, we're doing away with uh, the the um, meats. Praise God. Hallelujah. That includes um, shrimp, crab, lobster, uh, pork. Praise God. Hallelujah. The bottom feeders. We're doing away with that, y'all. Praise God. During this fast. And if after this fast, and you can do away with the meat as well. Um, at least those, praise God, during these 21 days. Do away with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is doing a thing, y'all. And we want to receive him in his fullness in Jesus' mighty name. All right, y'all. Be blessed. Love you all. All right. Take it to know God. Ingredients. 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 Take it to know God. Ingredients.